Hey everybody, it's Mindale back again with another Gambuino tech demo. Uh, this demo is a little bit different to some of the ones that I've done in the past. This was more of an experiment to see if something was uh, that I wanted to sort of uh, try out, if it was actually possible to do it. And even though I technically succeeded, unfortunately, um, this one hasn't really resulted in a technology that I think would be practical or usable across multiple units, but I'm gonna do this video anyway and just sort of show the results of, of what I was able to achieve. I don't know, maybe it might give some people, uh, other people, ideas of other things to do, or maybe they can improve upon uh, the way that I was trying to implement it. So, for this demo, the first thing I'm going to need is a second Game Bueno. So let's bring that in. Um, I just received my second unit in the mail two days ago. Um, so, before I get started, I just want to say a big congratulations to everybody. This has just been such a great project to... Uh, uh, to have you know, to be a part of, and Rudu, um, you have just been absolutely amazing. You have delivered everything that you promised uh, on time, and even you've delivered more than you've promised. All those little extra goodies that came with uh, with the second unit were just fantastic, and the fact that you've done it with so many units, you know, well, a thousand. I think it was almost ten times as many units as you thought it was going to be. It's just been fantastic. Thank you so much. So I'm really looking forward to uh, to continuing to do work, and hopefully maybe start working on some actual content. So anyway, uh, as far as my tech demo goes, what I was trying to do, I was uh, looking at the, the Game Bueno Mon uh, thread on the forums. Game Bueno Mon is uh, just some ideas being tossed around for a Pokemon clone, and I was thinking, well, wouldn't it be great if there was some way that we could get, I don't know, let's say uh, stats for a particular monster or something from one device over to the other. We don't have a Wi-Fi uh, device on Game Bueno yet. Obviously, the people that bought the multiplayer pack, they've got the cable, but uh, most people don't have that cable. So I was thinking, what else can we do? Well, we can use the SD card, obviously. You can just save it and then switch it over and then move it back and forth. That's gonna, that's gonna get pretty uh, old and pretty tired pretty quickly. So, so I started thinking, well, what are some of the other options? What are some of the alternatives? And one of the first things I thought was NFC. Now, this is a tablet that I have. A lot of mobile phones use NFC. NFC stands for Near Field Communication. And this uh, has a sticker on it, and it says, let me just see if I can read it here. Use this area to communicate with other NFC devices. I thought, well, that's perfect. Imagine if you could just take Game Bueno and just hold them together and transmit information. How cool would that be? So I went and coded up a demo that is able to do this. Now, these are, these are standard units. Uh, that's obviously the one that just arrived in the mail. This is the uh, pre-production prototype that I was given, but it's basically the same hardware. The speaker's a bit different. There's no front plate. But other than that, it's, uh, you know, for the purpose of this demo, it's just another uh, uh, regular Game Bueno. So I'll show you the little demo that I've whipped up here. We can turn on, you, you will notice there's no other hardware plugged into, the, into this, it's just standard off the shelf. Uh, sound is disabled, but I'll say transmit. Now you can enter any um, message that you like. I'm gonna post the uh, source code to this uh, on the, the forum thread where I post this demo, by the way, so anyone can try and uh, try and replicate it. The default uh, message that I've put here is Hello Game Bueno. Let me just see if we can see that. Like I said, you can change it to whatever you want. You entered Hello Game Bueno. Okay, so it says transmitting message Hello Game Bueno. So I'll put that back and we'll take the other unit and we'll go turn on, this one's got sound. We'll go receive. So now it's in receive mode. Now, let me just see, can you see that? Yeah. Now we don't actually have to put these in physical contact with each other, but if we just bring them up so that they're reasonably close to each other and wait. Okay, we get the beep. Hello Game Bueno. So we've successfully transmitted a message from one Game Bueno to the other completely wirelessly. Okay, so how did I do that? Well, um, half of you have probably already figured it out. Um, NFC, proper N NFC works by sending uh, electromagnetic waves that are about 12 meters long, uh, with more commonly known as radio waves, but you can um, modulate and send communication with uh, electromagnetic waves of other frequencies, and if you get really, really tiny ones, like about one two thousandth of a millimetre, well, that we, we know those waves by uh, the common name of visible light. And if I hold my finger over this unit, you'll see that the backlight on this unit is flashing. And that's because I'm mod modulating it with 
the message to be sent. And the uh, ambient light sensor on this unit is able to read those pulses and, uh, and decode it and extract the message from it. So, it does work. I was able to show proof of concept, um, but it's completely useless in the real world. Why? Uh, unfortunately, it works fine if I send it from this unit over to this unit. The minute I go back the other way, it doesn't work as well. And the reason for that, if I switch this one to transmit, and you'll see that the backlight on this second unit is actually nowhere near as strong as the first one is. Let me just see if I can uh, get both of them going at the same time, yeah. So there's a big, big difference in the, uh, in the apparent brightness of that backlight on those two different units. And this is unfortunate. Um, I was actually able to get it to go from the second unit to the first unit, but I had to throttle back uh, the transmission race. I mean, I was developing it um, to transmit on the first one originally, and I can get um, I can get about 200 board. That's that's about 20 characters a second when I go that way, which is just way way higher than I thought it would. I was able to get, and it's able to do it reliably um, every single time. I've let it run for 10, 15 minutes, no errors. Um, going back the other way, you've got to do it a lot slower, and um, you know you've got to align the sensor to the LCD. It's just not practical. So. It's a bit of a shame, uh, this is the second time that uh, differences in the LCD displays between units has caught me out. I know my 3D demo, a lot of people weren't able to run the original version because I was coding on a very low level and some displays just couldn't keep up with the uh, how hard I was pushing the LCD. Um, so yeah, a bit disappointing, but hey, it was a fun little uh, project to work on and uh, maybe there are other ways or other, th other things that we can do. Uh, with this sensor and, and with the LCD that uh, that I haven't thought of. Or maybe someone can come along and look at my code and improve it and get it to a point where it's workable. So thanks for watching. Um, thanks again, everybody. Um, thanks again, Rudu, for uh, everything you've done with uh, getting these units out the door. I'm really looking forward to seeing what people come up with and, and playing everyone's games. And uh, I'll uh, see you next time.